Hello world, how are you today? I'm doing quite alright, thanks for asking. Today uh, I haven't really prepared any themes, I'm just going to go off the top of my head about what the heck ever, because I'm tired of the basic serious stuff, we've done the basic stuff, and uh, very very few people actually uh, follow the point. Uh, but uh, in actually very bright news, uh, someone uh, very unique actually got a lot of points and uh, not that she got them, uh, she had them from before but uh, the parts just crossed in such a way that uh, uh, we had uh, some commonality there to share I'm of course talking about uh, Miss Tila Nguyen Tequila uh, and uh, her ongoing experiments on Facebook, on her Facebook page uh, you can check it out, uh, I am Miss Tila is the name of the page slash and uh, see what's going on there uh, and uh, if you paid any attention to my walk on Facebook at the slash Baba Bom B A B A B O M uh, you'll see that there's a lot of commonality in the timelines simply owing to the fact uh, that people who are more perhaps awake and aware to the basic realities of life and love uh, that are revolving in the world uh, they live in tune with the seasons of nature and with the stars out there in the universe and uh, they follow the cycles of nature I mean, you have so many kinds of cycles in nature you have, for example the uh, famously you have the uh, flower of life the ancient uh, wheel of ones or zeros you can't really tell because there's only one kind there's no two kinds at all in that diagram I mean if you look at my uh, tau matrix uh, you will see uh, that uh, I present the derivations from the tau or yin and yang uh, outwards and uh, simply posit uh, the infinity or emptiness or the substratum as the uh, foundation. Now the question is how does the one become many? Mm, and uh, there indeed is the so-called uh, secret of creation uh, that explains uh, akin to the process of dividing cells etc. how any uh, unicentric uh, unit begins to grow in concentric circles and uh, creates a fullness, a wholeness that is simultaneously one uh, yet different, yet you cannot say whether it's the same or whether it's different. Uh, now what happens at that point? Uh, the circles are spinning this way or that way, uh, it doesn't really matter which way they are spinning, time is always spinning uh, in all directions for those who follow the tides of time. Either way, uh, a circle is only beautiful uh, when it's unbroken and uh, when you break a circle why would you do that? You would break a circle because you have a desire to break a circle, otherwise no one break a circle. Uh, what happens? Uh, you break even just one little thread here, then becomes ugly, uh, the flower begins to grow deformed. Uh, of course if you have harmonic symmetries then you can uh, create a lot of uh, fascinating plurality out of it by permutations, but uh, you have to have the basic cohesion of balance between yourself and between the other, between your inside and the outside, between the above and the below and your right and your left, both hands as well as your uh, brain hemispheres. You see you've got this image of two streams coming out from your head. Uh, there is one a luminous stream and another is a dark stream and now you may have both brain halves going for the darker side uh, which goes deep deep in, into introspection uh, the double negative and now you may have a negative positive uh, a fourth uh, forward looking out looking light where you consider carefully with your left half what are the patterns and with the right half you see what is the current of life forward into the future at the same time, uh, you can take the uh, right half 
uh, of the living current and apply it into analyzing the problems here and now, uh, invoking compassion and use the other half for uh, supporting, creating structures, patterns. Don't be afraid of patterns of awareness. Patterns are helpful as long as we're in this composite world. Uh, take those uh, brain halves of yours and use them in what the heck ever way uh, in a balanced manner so that you have the inspiration and the enthusiasm as well as the field of cohesive balance. Neither one is a friend or enemy uh, when attached to uh, both brain halves of yours, both aspects, whether you think of them as male and female or the sun and the moon uh, or the spirit and the matter side and so on. They are all uh, uh, as friends or as enemies as you make out of them. I mean, uh, it's just a question of your preference. We have all different natures and uh, if we posit that we are actually all one, uh, then we should be able to uh, take into account all those infinite natures in the same totality of being and not try to distort everyone uh, to our own template. I mean, we all have our respective capacities for uh, the current of uh, spirit and luminosity as well as we have our own composite patterns of awareness in deep in our subconscious mind. They're all individual apparently uh, and they are so because we have made them individual uh, with our ego uh, distorting all the basics. Uh, no, that's not a very bright idea. Uh, don't distort the basics of reality and you will not end up with a crazy mess in your subconscious mind. Just take it directly as it is. What I see now here is you, here am I. I like you, you like me. Uh, we are all together. Um, I reflect you, you reflect me. Whatever you express, uh, I take that and I try to give you back something that uh, reflects whatever you have given to me. And this is the back and forth dance of uh, two souls uh, in a united thread or in a circle that uh, actually spins two ways at the same time, like this. That's a curious thing. Have you ever seen such a thing actually as a conscious process between two individuals? If you haven't, uh, maybe you should uh, find people who are one enough uh, so that you can actually reflect with them back and forth in a more seamless and immediate way. Uh, that which is in your heart, uh, in your heart mind, and uh, create uh, a conduit of uh, immediate reflection. Uh, I mean, when, when you cultivate that further, then uh, you will have uh, ESP, you will have this and that, all kinds of abilities will come into being and create more synergy between the minds of human beings. But in order for that to be possible, you have to give up the ego, the composite selfish ego that always, whenever there's a situation, I think what's for me first and what's for him or her uh, second, or what's for uh, nature second. I mean, uh, they nothing whatever is secondary. I mean, you the, the ego is the only secondary thing in existence because it's unreal. It's real. All right, but it's a composite uh, that reflects uh, lies that you have done in the past by distorting the pure circles of nature, distorting them to your own devices and not uh, for the commonality, for the one uh, good current of balance that sustains all of us. So, in case you're completely bored with my publications, then uh, never mind, don't uh, just uh, forget it, uh, but uh, by all means go and visit any page or any person's profile who is talking about something similar, uh, the balance between your two extremes, the balance and the equality between men, women, black, white, this, that, and the ultimate unification of interests in all sentient beings first of all and then in the entirety of our ecosystem so so whoever is talking about things like that support that and do what you can to help those people I mean I, I always try to do that 
when i find that someone tries to do something good then just go there and uh, help that person who cares what you're actually doing yourself i mean if you're trying to do something and it's going nowhere then uh, to hell with that and go somewhere where you see that something at least something is happening somewhere and uh, put what you have into that and then at least we have some chance of creating a transformation in this world otherwise it's completely if everyone is in their own little bags of you know I want to be famous with this and you know I want to be famous with that then it's just uh, we have a uh, hundred thousand little Jesuses walking around the planet and just uh, debating between each other which one of them has the bigger visions or the you know longer robes or whatever which is completely pointless all the while we're spending time with all these futile ego battles and the world is just going in a handbasket to hell that's uh, our human excellence how smart and how hard we are these days not at all so why not return to the pristine basics of life go back to the garden of eden think about adam and eve and the simple life in there take that as a basis of your how would you like the world to be take that as a basis all right it's a utopian thing out there all right but if you go in here into your pineal gland for example into the median of your brain there's no utopian thing in there the same reality is in your brain and in your heart if you go in there into the so-called kingdom of god or whatever anyone wants to call it basically the pure harmonic uh original created order of things that is uh, has been extant since the dawn of the universe uh, through the process by which all things were derived into being uh, through the flower of life through the uh, harmonics matrix of yin and yang of positive and negative in infinite combinations in balance so if you can tune yourself up with that like a lot of people nowadays are doing especially uh, over the last few weeks and in this month uh, there is a lot of synergy from nature so go outdoors gaze at the stars see the heaven uh, try to integrate the peace of winter time uh, the sheltering uh, veil of winter uh, go deep within and then as deep within as you go come out with the same burst of energy and uh, make a difference with what you have make it shared and make it known make your voice heard otherwise uh, what the hell are you living for I mean really I'm myself I mean I could just uh, get the hell out go to some mountain cave and never see you any one of you again I wouldn't give a damn but for some reason I came here and I'm trying to do something and uh, so why don't you also try to do something unless you have something more important to do than to try to advance a world where one and the other can become one uh, without a debate in the median and advancing the common interest. I could go on forever and ever and ever and ever about this and I most likely will, but uh, uh, not on this video. I'll spare you that. Thank you for your patience so far and uh, in case you uh, uh, liked something that I said here leave a comment let me know what you liked if you got any questions leave the questions I'll include them in the next video whenever I get around to recording a video again if I get about five and a half views for this one I probably won't be recording another video for some time uh, just because I'm not recording this for myself to pimp my pretty face but uh, I'm actually recording this in order that someone uh, would uh, understand something more of the uh, basic essence of life and uh, make themselves happy free of suffering as well as others